Now let us try to understand functions when mapping diagrams are given to us. So consider the relations given as mapping diagrams. State their domain and range is each relation of function justify your answer, right? So we have three different mapping diagrams. And what we need to do here is state domain and range and we need to figure out is each relation a function or not. And we need to justify our answer. So let's look into the first one. Now every element in the first group is associated with just one element in the second group. So the first group forms the set of independent variables which is the domain for us and the second group is the set of dependent variables which is the range for us. Now when we say domain and range then domain is we're writing the x values as equals to a b c d right so that is the domain for us and as far as the range is concerned the y values are the second dependent set which is a b c d capital so that is how we can do it is indeed a function since there is one to one correspondence let's look into the second mapping diagram here every element is associated with only one one is associated with zero two with zero three with zero four with one right so each element is, has got one association therefore it is also a function correct now since it is a function we can also write down well for relation also we could write now it is a function for sure now let's write on domain and range for this so domain is set of inputs which are one two three and four so in this case domain is one two three and four and the range is the dependent values which are 0 and 1 okay and this is a function as the earlier one was also right so this is a function we saw and this is also a function let's analyze the third one it is important to note that the arrows are from right to left well in the test paper at times you may get such a situation that means basically this is input right this is input right? and that is output this is domain you understand the set here is domain and that part is range since we reverse the sign it's kind of tricky right now let's write down domain so domain here is equals to abc right abc is domain and range is the y values given to us as 1, 2, 3, 4, right? Now, is it a function or not? This is what you need to figure out. Now, since b is associated with 2, we have b to 2 and b to 3, right? Therefore, it is not a function. Do you see that? So, this one is not a function since b is associated with 2 values, 2 elements, right? So two elements in range correspond to one element to domain and therefore it is not a function. Correct? I know that that makes things very clear. So from the mapping diagram we should first see the direction of arrows. So the arrows shoot from domain to range. So they are this is the domain, this is the range. In these cases, domain range, domain range. Do you say? All the elements in domain are these elements in range are A, B, C, and D capital, right? So that is how we need to look at the mapping diagrams and answer the questions. I hope the point is well taken. Have a good look at it. Thank you and all the best.